Rabawan Academy started in May 2016 and it's, it's actually born out of, in fact, let me tell a story. In August 2015, we got burglared in a house. Right, and they took all our stuff and they took my car. Then my car was found in Phosphorus. I was very upset. I had anger. I, I just struggled with it. And you know, when you, when you look at people and you're just thinking people are just so ungrateful, how could this happen? Right. But at the same time, you know, I decided, look, I, I could carry the anger or I could actually channel the anger to make a change so then um, the idea came that okay let's actually do a program that can get people out of whatever the situation is that makes you go into someone's house and just take my name is Ntebisen Mughele and I am the owner of a company called Sports Eclipse so as you hear the name says Sports Eclipse so it's basically a sports development and management company Currently, my main focus is soccer, simply because where I come from, Kofos Loras, that is the most predominant sport. So at the moment, I'm part of the uh, SAFA Association we are at Fos Loras, and I am in the running to be vice president. I stumbled across Rebaone actually mid last year. I had just resigned from my job, I had nothing to do, and someone told me about it, and it was a matter of, I'm bored, let me just go see what it's about. I wasn't even intending on committing to the program. But when I got there, I found like, you know what, I, they're giving me information that I actually need for the business, so I stuck it through, and here I am about two years later, yes. I think the most important thing is never to give up, always stand, you know, it's going to get tough, it's not always going to be easy, you're going to have um, failures and I think the most important thing is to have a support structure around you and that's exactly what Rebani Academy offers to its students and just to be strong and um, you know just nurture your soul the knowledge doesn't stop here just because you've 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 gone through the program you still need to maintain your education and you still need to maintain your knowledge always very important schooling doesn't stop from here we embarked on that journey um, but then we soon realized that we, we, we're sitting on a great opportunity and we're sitting with young minds and it's up to us to help shape those or continue to destroy. And in the moment when I stepped into the classroom and I started facing the people behind these problems and these statistics that we always talk about and actually having a face to face with them and having these conversations, it opened up my eyes and it, I developed this passion for, for sharing knowledge and I think also seeing all of these amazing achievements that these students have made through Rebani Academy has really um, opened up my views as to how we can make a small impact. If you think um, you can't make a difference, well think about a mosquito, right? It became a leap of faith that we'll, we'll make do. So we pretty much have been funding this from our own salaries. And, um, and it's been running for two years. If, if you put your mind to something, you don't always have to have the money to start it. And for us, it's also a, a example to the very students we're trying to impact. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.